pretty neat. Looks good to me. Man, I went through all those settings just for the game to ask me it again. Elden Ring. First try. Vagabond, warrior, hero, bandit, astrologer, prophet, samurai, prisoner, confessor. Wow, and naked. Uh, <laughs> the the funny thing about this is there is like this uh, video I looked at that went through what all the stats were. Oh, there they are. I wonder if these are much different than they were before. So when I looked at it before, the video that I looked at, it seemed like hero was more up my alley. It was like mad strength, endurance, level is a little bit lower. Uh, dexterity, dexterity is a little low too. Mm, not too bright, seven intelligence. Are these the starting weapons and shields it comes with too? That's interesting. Warrior versus hero. Endurance 11, 12, strength 10, 16. Oh man, this is a hard choice. You're playing prisoner? Yeah, you know when I looked at when I looked at it originally, I thought prisoner and hero were the two that sounded interesting. Vagabond also is kind of interesting too. Because uh, I, I was looking at things that had decent endurance, strength, and dexterity. Those are like the three that I was looking at. Uh, vigor? I'm not sure if that's vitality. Warrior, you can dual wield. Whoa. Wretch or riot? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you just want to see me naked, Mike. Um, <laughs> uh, 15. Let's see. I want to see. I'm looking at the vitality and the strength. So 15, 14, 11, 10. 14, 16. Yeah, hero is what I want. I'm going hero. We're going to be the hero of this story. I'll be... Wow, is this... Is this the first time they've had a body type B? Or am I just new to the series? <laughs> what up, Bratwurst? Let's go with... Uh... I mean, I kind of want to be a body type B. <laughs> Let's go with A. Name? Oh, dude, I'm... What? Hey, what should my name be? <laughs> is that razor fire over there? Hmm. Hmm. Avery, don't worry. It won't be much. It's just the early part of the game. You know, like, I'm not going to get that far. Plus, I'm bad at these games. Miss Hotshot, Mr. Hotshots. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. We'll go. We'll go. Mr. Hotshots. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't play the network test. Exactly. So, this is my first time touching it. Blood type? No bearing on ability. Oh, body type. God damn, I thought it's a blood type. Jeez Louise. Am I young? Mature? Hey, how come I can't see it? Aged? Man! Okay, we're gonna look, um... We're definitely not gonna look young. We're gonna look... Look at the skin? I don't see I don't see anything changing. Do you? Oh, the body, not the face. What the fuck? What? <laughs> How come the young and the mature body look the same? What? <laughs> oh, they're a little bit different. Whoa! Well, yeah. Well, we're mature. Things are starting to uh, fall apart. <laughs> uh, keepsake. No keepsake. The past has been well and truly left behind. Medallion inlaid with crimson amber increases maximum HP. Uh, used to gain many runes. Gold to gray shine in the eyes of the people of the lands between. Golden seed washed ashore from the lands between. Set to reinforce sacred flasks. So that's a flask buff. Uh, ash with small diminutive golems. Ash is set to hold spirits within. I don't know what that means. Container for certain throne items. Strange crack pots that somehow mend themselves. Mm hmm. Uh, two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. Can only be used once sounds whack. 
Five sacred branches from Demigod Michaela. Five piece of broiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Attracts enemies aggression. What do you guys feel out of these? Gotta take the prawn? What? I mean, boost... Okay, yeah, so boost physical damage negation sounds good. This one sounds like it's gonna let you get something that other people won't get access to later. Uh, the key... It, it reminds me of the Skeleton Keeper Part 1, except that you can only use it once. So that seems kind of whack. Um, holding Spirits within, not sure what that is. Reinforcing Flask. We're going to get there anyway. I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. And then we got many runes. Are runes like souls in this game? Increases max HP. So I think I like increases max HP or damage negation. Probably damage negation. Yeah, I think prawn. I think we go prawn. Base template? What the hell? <laughs> Wait, so this, this affects nothing, right? It's just how you want to look? <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of variety here. I didn't expect that. Dude, the night folk? They look like they're from Game of Thrones. Damn, the loner? I'm the loner. Detailed appearance? What? How do you sample it? <laughs> I don't know. Which one I like? I don't think I like mature. <laughs> oh, damn, that young. Wow, he's still going. to go consider and yeah I did. <laughs> Mature sounding just right. Yeah. Oh the age voice actually sounds like an older guy though. He sounds like he's got a lot of air escaping his body. I don't think I'm down with that. <laughs> Old man and yeah it just sounds like me when I try to stand up too fast, you know? Where I bend down to lift something up. My back snapping, my knees popping. Alright, mature voice one we go. Alter skin color? Holy shit, dude. There's so many options. Wow. This is like changing my webcam's um, uh, white balance. <laughs> man, this guy's getting mad. Well, something like... That looks like rip. Face and hair. You can change all this stuff? Dude. Wow. Dude, I had no idea it was this detailed. How do I randomize? Is there like a randomize option? Similar face. What? Holy crap, dude. Honestly, I didn't think you really looked at your face. <laughs> you know, cowboy? Yeah, dude. Um, it's just a little early. It's not a lot of early, right? This is funky. Yeah, I don't think I actually care this much about all this. Um, does any feature of this face really bother me? Is the real question. Looks like Slim Eric's. All right, fine. I'm changing the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> it's because he's got a beard. For Eric, you got to. Can you even? You can't really even see. Is this like the nose length? Reset camera. It doesn't even do anything. Is there not like a... No, it's not okay. 
nose to forehead ratio? Is this like how you have like a five head or something? Looks like a very old Norman Reedus. <laughs> Am I going more towards the forehead size? Because somehow, I don't feel like that's what happened there. More forehead, please. Face protrusion. Oh boy. We'll go the opposite way. Damn! He's looking evil now. Alright, now that I figured out how to do this faster, it's much it's much better. We'll leave it whatever the base one was. He needs to eat some food. <laughs> he needs some he needs some yogurt. Sure, right about there. Facial feature slant? Oh god. Wow, that makes him look mad old. We'll keep you in the middle-ish. And then horizontal face ratio. Whoa. Damn, these settings are crazy. And it's pretty easy to just swap between settings. Sure, whatever. I think I got bored of it already. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, but now that I'm seeing it, I'm noticing that noticing that the skin color is looking a little a little brighter than I thought it was. And how about the hair color? Is it no hair color? Face and hair. Where's the hair? Hair, 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 hair. Hair 20? Oh. <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay. There's a lot of options here. <laughs> You're gonna be here for like three hours, dude. It's definitely longer than I expected it to be already. Damn, this, this, for some reason I see this, I just think of like European. This is a good way for me to check out what I'm gonna cut my hair into. Damn, I like this one. Oh, I like this one too. Damn, maybe I should cut my hair like this for real life. <laughs> There's a lot more long hair options than I expected. Oh God. I think this is actually where I'm currently at. <laughs> I think we're at 22 right now. I think we're currently at 22. Uh, 12 was where I was like forever ago. Get a 17? <laughs> Dude, I can't. I wouldn't be able to take it seriously. You're at about a 22 too? Yeah, I think... I think maybe... I, I think I'm going to the 12. Maybe a 12. 12 or 11. 11, I think maybe 11. I've never, I never part my hair that way though. It's confusing me. You like the 12? 12 it is. But he can't see the eyes. All right, we go to 11. I should, I might actually cut my hair like this later. We'll see. And where's the hair color? There it is. Black, damn, black hair looks sick. <laughs> is there like a, um, where's like the going gray version? Eh, close enough. Luster? Well, that's too much luster. Just a little bit of luster. There we go. Man, this is kind of ridiculous. The roots darkness? In case you dye your hair? What? Oh, white hairs! Yo! <laughs> Where are they? This is my favorite setting in the game so far. That's too much. I can't see them, man. This is this is not bad, right here. I think that's where I'm at. <laughs> what up, Yoda? Uh, hey, by the way, Yoda, there's a guy, not a guy, there's a movie on Netflix that has the same name as your name, except there's like one less A or whatever. Yeah, it's peppered in there. How's it going, Shinku? All right, I think we're good now. Yeah, that looks like me when I'm naked. <laughs> Alter body? What? Is my head small? <laughs> I don't know why. When I did this, oh, I can't even say it out loud. I'm gonna get cast like Tanukana. God damn it. Whatever. I gotta say, this this bot, this head size looks a little bit small for me. Maybe something like that. Accurate, <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. Chest, where are we going? Oh boy, that's too much like rip. Let's go. Wow, that's that's buff. 
It's a little too buff. There we go. Not you. This is your. This is the closest you guys are getting to me having an OnlyFans right here. <laughs> oh damn! Yo, this is this is surprisingly realistic, bro. Let me tell you guys. If you guys get old, this section does this. It's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> you know, you want ultra wide Ryu build. Oh my god. It's. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, that was, that was like rip. Yeah, right. Damn. You know what's crazy about this? You know how when you're uh, when you're adjusting your um, your body in Dark Souls, how like when you take off all your clothes, you look mad naked and thin. Like how come this guy can be so buff? You know, that seems awkward, right? Legs? Oh man. <laughs> Do you think this makes you roll faster? What's up, Beal? Now, I really wish this would affect your stats. Imagine if this was actually fat rolling and this was actually. <laughs> Imagine, well, <laughs> that's too thin, dude. I can't. I can't. We gotta go at least a little bit. Body hair? Where is it? Hey, I don't even see it. Well, I'll put it abundant. Body hair coat? Maybe it's gotta be black so you can see it. Match the hair. I don't see it. Musculature? <laughs> oh boy. This guy needs to hit the gym. Alright, save the favorites. Right there. Yep. Looking like a favor to me. And finish. What? I did all that work and you can't even see it anymore. <laughs> Zoom in and press R2? No thanks. Oh my. You break your legs when you jump? <laughs> alright, alright. We did, we did a bunch of customization. Let's try. Elden Ring, finally. Good God. Customized for like two hours, I feel like. <laughs> hmm. Are we gonna get an intro? The fallen leaves tell a story. Is nowhere to be found. Queen America the Eternal. And in the night of the Black Knights, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, America's offspring, <coughs> demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Their newfound strength triggered the shattering. That gives me Hydra vibes. A war from which no lord arose. Who is this lady? A war leading to abandonment. By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold right, This seems like a preview of all the bosses. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome dung eater. 
and Sir Gideon Ocknir, the all-knowing. Barbados, I'm right there with you, man. <laughs> there we go. I was kind of curious about why the trailers all had like CGI kind of stuff, and then we had nothing Home other than like Grace pictures here. Would again bless. This looks like gameplay. Is this not CGI? Is this the game? A tarnished of no renown. That looked like the skin color I picked. <laughs> Cross the fall. To the lands between. I think that's me. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Alright, we're gonna become an Elden Lord today. What are we now? Good morning. New the Elden Ring. Why is okay? What the heck? Well, guys, here we are. So I'm running it on maximum at 1440, and we're getting like 54, 56 FPS right now. If I look at the floor, we get 52 FPS. <laughs> You beat the game, yeah! This part so far feels very, very salty, right? Jump button is funky, dude. What the? Look how high you jump, too. Okay, I'm just testing to see what whether I got turned down some settings, which I probably do. Kind of hard to tell. It, it looks okay, to be honest. But I'm also, I'm also um, streaming at 1080. I like this as a good uh, testing ground. Yeah, it's dropping to like 50. But we're on pretty high settings, right? It's probably okay, I think. Yeah, because I updated the graphics. Uh, no, sorry. I updated my graphics driver. And I also um, have version 1.02, which is the patch that came out at 2 a.m. this morning. So this is the latest patch and everything. And this is what it runs like. So I'm assuming if I wasn't streaming, I would probably be getting about 5 FPS more, maybe. So it's probably closer to 60 FPS at 1440p on maximum settings for me if I'm not streaming. Which is, which is fine, I think. Uh, wow. Okay. This is different. Equipment menu. You can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armors, talismans, and items. You can equip up to three armaments, each to your left and right hands. Uh, these actions each armament... What? The actions each armament performs... I don't like that word. Armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Aha. Alright. These are the right hand armaments. Where are the left hand ones? These are the left hand ones. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Why is right hand top and left hand bottom? What? Why isn't this left and this one right? <laughs> There's three spots for it. Then you got your arrows and bolts. Legs, arms, chest, and head. This is going to bother me like crazy. Is it better to get 60 FPS consistently or higher resolution? Mm, it definitely feels like um, higher FPS for me is always what I prefer to have. Like 1440p is not like necessary, but the fact that this game only goes to 60, like I'm not too stressed about it. Like I'm pretty close to 60. Um, so I'm not stressing about this. Like I could go to 1080, it would probably be better in terms of the uh, what do you call it? The overall frame rate. But at the same time, I think that 
Uh, we're probably okay. If it drops more when I go outside or something, then I'll change the settings. Uh, let me see what these stats are. These stats look so different too. Let's see. Simple view. Oh, interesting. And then if we want to do switch view. Oh, okay. So that's like their extra details. Vigor of mind endurance strike. We don't have the... Oh, there's a stamina there. HP. Stamina. Equipment load. 21 out of 54. Medium load. Wow, it actually tells you, huh? Cool. Poise is 9. <clears throat> Discovery, 111. I'm guessing that goes to your luck stat, right? And then you've got... So resistance has vitality under it. We'll see how this goes when we actually get a level up later, I guess. And then let's see. Inventory. Uh, let me just see really quick. What other things can we change here other than that? Quantity is advanced. Mm, so when you go to this... Oh, we should probably turn off motion blur. I don't think that's going to change much, but... Definitely don't want it on maximum. <clears throat> Shadow quality is the maximum. Sure. I mean, considering everything is like pretty maxed out here, I think we're doing pretty good. All right. Tarnished, wizened finger. That sounds gross. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. It's so bizarre to me that this button is Y. That's like the equivalent of two. Like, why? Oh, because it's the jump button otherwise. Lordy. Okay. All right, we go, we go Weldon Ring. Weldon Ring. How's it going, Christian? Be excellent to each other, exactly. Uh, 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 with the inventory menu, you can always browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground and throw them away. Also use tools from the inventory menu. Show large image explanation. All right. There's a lot to dig in here. What did I just pick up, a finger? You used to write messages to other worlds? Oh, okay. We don't need that. Not right now, at least. You guys can teach me how to use that later. That's not the open button. I'm gonna do that a lot. Chapel of Anticipation. Let me know how the stream's looking for you guys. Like, for me, because I have a G-Sync monitor, like, it looks beautiful. Like, everything looks perfect. Wow. Door is blocked shut? Looks smooth so far. Cool. That was definitely not smooth. That went to 24 FPS. What in the world? <laughs> alright, alright. I'm guessing this is some kind of uh, jump thing. R is the camera controls. Damn, this is your hint. Don't go off this way. Look around. Ooh. That's pretty. I think my camera sensitivity is probably a little bit off, but I'll figure that out later, I think. I'm not sure if it's too high or too low yet. Uh, this is... So much prettier than Dark Souls 1 Remastered. <clears throat> like, way, way, way prettier. You know what I should have set up? I should have set up a death counter. <laughs> we'll just keep track of it manually. We'll just say it out loud. <laughs> what is this for if it, you can't go anywhere with it? This seems odd, right? Oh, wait! There's a jump button! What the? I feel like I can jump up there. And now what? You think I can... No way. I... I'm scared. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> We're going back this way. Little camera weirdry there. 
<clears throat> What's this place called? Chapel of Anticipation? I mean, there's a lot of anticipation. I keep expecting no one to be here because there's no one here. All the performance issues are DX12 goodness. Really? <clears throat> as far as I've seen... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> as far as I've seen, a lot of the settings don't really affect performance. Like, the main setting that affects performance is grass. Because you can see, like, I have maximum grass. So there's stuff all everywhere around me, right? Which is pretty cool, honestly. I think it makes the world look better. <clears throat> If you look at like the PS4 or the Xbox One versions of the game, uh, then you can see there's like minimal grass in comparison. This looks a lot more like Dark Souls than the past couple games. That's cool. 10 out of 10 grass. I think that's the big uh, selling piece. What was happening? Oh, okay, okay. So we're just gonna get right into it, huh, boy? Okay, what the? We are dropping a little bit of frames. Okay, that was pretty good. What the fuck? Hey! So, um... <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. I think that was intended. I don't think that's one. <laughs> Fine on my end. <laughs> no, that's one? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think you can advance without dying there. <laughs> Maybe you can, though. We'll count it. We'll count it. We'll, we'll... But then again, oh, my horse. One it is. I'm so curious about whether jump is better than dodge. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. The horse's name is Torrent? One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Mm hmm. I'm about to turn down settings. That frame drop bothered me. <laughs> when that boss popped out of the sky. Get up, dude. Use your mature voice. The settings cannot fix the FPS stutter, sadly, even on lowest. Really? Are you sure about that? No way. Flask of Crimson Tears. Beautiful. You've been testing it all day? No way. Wow. Wait, I got, I got two types of tears, right? Crimson Tears restores HP. Cerulean Tears, which restores FP. What the hell is FP? Mana? That seems like it's going to be pretty important if they gave it to me at the beginning of the game. And there's that blue mana bar there. Yeah. You have a 3070 Ti? Oh boy. That's a bummer. What resolution are you playing at, uh, Nano Death? At what settings? Are you running at high or are you running at... um? Maximum or what? <clears throat> Cave of knowledge lies below. It's a ghost here. Hello? Take the plunge. Hold up, bro. There's other stuff here. Uh. 
Yeah, 2081 it was setting for 2K res at 60. Well, I'm at 2K res right now, 1440p, and um, maximum. Wow, look at that. Like, why did that stutter like crazy right here? There's nothing going on. It, it's, it dropped to 20 something frames per second right here. Just this corner. Bro, bro, 24 FPS in this corner. Seems like a very important corner. What the hell, dude? What the fuck? 2746. Yo, what the hell? Um. <laughs> um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a. Uh, a problem. How do they not. That's. That's kind of that's kind of sad right there. Like look how smooth this is. This is like basically sixty right now. Oh, you can turn off your HUD. What is this area? This place is place is mad dark. I updated my graphics driver today to install one from NVIDIA from the 14th of February that says it's optimized for Elden Ring. <clears throat> so, uh, this is... Like, you can see, like, right here, it's, it, like, if, if you were playing this game like this, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's great. 3080, maximum setting, 1440p, no problem. And then you walk over to this corner... And all of a sudden, you're at 20 something FPS. Like, bro. Well, did nobody check this corner in testing? <laughs> like, why is this corner disaster? There's nothing here. It's it's not like, oh my god, I think it crashed. Holy shit. Bro. I don't know what's happening in that corner. But that's not good. This entire stair area, like, this makes no sense. And this door opens? Oh my god. Bro. Bro. You think it's the lighting? Of looking at this light on this statue from this tree to this pillar? Bro. Yeah, it, it dropped to 7. Like, this is not very good. <laughs> you know... I'm gonna drop the settings. I'm gonna drop all the settings. Let's do, um. Let's do high. And we will. We'll see if that fixes it. We'll do one at a time, right? Return to the title menu. Thank you, game. Quit game. Yes. Let's see how that do. Oof. If this is happening on a 38, it's not optimized well at all, it seems. Yeah, it... There, there's no... There's no... There's nothing that should go from 60 to 7. You know? Is there ray tracing? There's no ray tracing, though. No. That's coming in a future update. <clears throat> cannot enter large buildings, caves, catacombs, or similar spaces while on horseback. Can also cannot summon your horse while inside such spaces. All right, so now we're at high. FPS in here is 40, maybe high 30s. Coming out here, I'm guessing it's still a problem though, right? Yeah, we're still like dropping a mad 20s here. This is a problem. Like honestly, dead honest, this makes me not want to play the game. Uh, because this is like a non-section of the game, right? Imagine if you were fighting a boss and then some shit like this happens. You know what I mean? Nano says agree, it's unplayable in current state. Is that an area where it starts buffering assets for the upcoming area? Uh, I don't think so. Is there DLSS? I mean, even if there were, like... 
like watch let's let's try this let's try something extreme right let's just try something extreme we'll go to 720 720 It's going to take a second for it to figure this out. Yes. Keep the settings. All right. And now let me bring you guys back because setting to 720 made me lose everything. Good God, that's gigantic. <laughs> uh, sure. And let me move my yogurt over her. Because we're doing so with that for now. Okay, let's see. Click back in the game. Okay, so this is 720. And it's... Is that right? Has the FPS broke? I think the FPS counter broke. Oh, no. It goes 46. There we go. It's still at 48 FPS. I'm running at 720p. And this is 22 FPS, 18 FPS, 23, bro, 16. This is 720p on a 3080. <clears throat> Low settings. Whoopsie. Low settings, quit game. Same case on PS5? I have no idea. The PS5 uh, was the highest FPS version I saw, but it, it only, at performance mode, it went up to like 55 FPS. It, even that one wasn't really hitting 60 consistent. But my, my concern is not that, like, like, you can see me, when I'm running around, the majority of the time, it is, like, 50-plus, right? But you could literally walk into a corner with nothing going on and suddenly drop to 7 or 18 FPS. That's disaster, right? Like, look, I'm in this cave right here. I'm at the lowest settings. The absolute lowest settings, right? I have all low, and I'm at 1280 720p, and we're still at 45 FPS. And if I come to this corner again, what do we go to? 34, 24, 19, 31. Wow. That is a problem. That's a major problem. There's there's no sugarcoating any of that. Like, what are you going to do about it? The... Yeah, I don't even know, man. Uh, it's rough. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't even know if I should keep playing the game. Because, like, like, look at that. It's 25, 22. Just standing these stairs for no reason. 45 to 25. Like, imagine if you were fighting a boss and it just suddenly dropped like that. just go outside it's not a problem outside I find outrageous how pre-launch coverage is brushed over it it's unacceptable it feels like games are quite buggy on release recently do they even have a QA team I don't know man like this is a bummer because I was like super excited about it like I wouldn't wake up at 6 a.m. to play most games you know on release uh, but I did and although it's cool like it's like how, how can this how Wait, did this not change something else here? Grass quality still on medium. I, that's the lowest setting, that's why. I was like, maybe it didn't auto set everything, you know? But everything is here. Let's turn that off too. I don't think it's gonna change anything at this point because it's already set. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's a good time to be a console player right now? I don't think so. Have you seen the console FPSs? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. This is sad. Um, I thought that the drops I had were because I was on the maximum settings, but it doesn't matter if I'm running on the maximum settings or the lowest settings. It has the same exact drops. So I guess we'll play it a little bit further. We'll see if it's if it keeps up. I'll run it at um. Yeah, we'll just run it. I mean, honestly, it was running fine at 1440p compared to how it's running now, anyway. Um, sure. We'll just run it at high settings. We'll just see where it, where it goes. And then we'll say for this one, we'll we'll run it at. Man, I'm scared to run it at maximum. But to be honest. Didn't seem like there's gonna be much different. Okay. System. Quit game. Yes. PS5 never hit 60 even on performance mode. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like it's if you're running around, a lot of times, like when I was outside earlier, it was like 50 is just fine, right? But the fact that you can randomly hit a section that just drops, you're like, mm, that's a problem. As long as console isn't hitting 25 lists, I'm good, right? I mean, like, I have my PS5 right there. Um, but I don't know if, uh, <laughs> like, how is this running the same? That That's crazy, dude. This, this looks way better. Honestly, this looks smoother. I don't understand. I <laughs> well, oh, wait, let's go into this. Let's go in here. Let's go into this doom section. What is this? Touch Grace? Oh, this is bonfires? What is this? Pastime flasks? Add charge to flask. Increase amount of replacement flask. Allocate flask charges. Cancel. Um. That's interesting. Does this mean that, like, is this how you refresh your flask, or does it not automatically do it? Well, at least you're a QA for all us PC players, Rip. <laughs> uh, memorize spells. Casting sorceries and incantation consumes FP. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries. Memory slots. Determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. Sure. Sword chest lead. There's a lot of options here at the, the bonfire now. Is this like a fog door? Or is this just a random door of fog? <laughs> I can't go through it. And I can't press Y on it. Okay. What is you? Co-op multiplayer. Tarnish furl finger to write a gold summon sign. Co-op multiplayer will begin once you have summoned by a player from another world. Take the role of an ally and your objective to defeat the area boss. Sure. Finger Severer. Tarnished Furled Finger. There's a lot of fingers in this game. Welp. I'm gonna assume we pull that lever. Oh god. Maybe <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> My bad. I'm gonna be honest though, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be here. I feel like we should have jumped down that hole. Because that was the first thing it showed us. What the? I'm gonna go down and jump jump down that hole outside. I think this game is intended to be a 30 FPS experience. X is use item. Oh God. What the hell did I just, what did I use? What, what did I use? I used the prawn dude. What? Oh man. This 
Son of a gun. Yummy. So, yeah, see, you're supposed to come to this section first. Resting aside, this will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status elements. It'll also refill your sacred flasks. Most enemies you've defeated will be revived. Most of them, yeah. You can find sites by grace by going where light converges. Uh huh. Explanations are acquired in the form of info items that can be accessed with inventory at any time. Thank you. Hey man, touch grace. Oh yeah, we should rest here. Not just touch. It's most likely a 30 FPS 1080p game. I mean. It seems like it. It's just kind of sad, you know? But like you can see like this is running fine, right? Like 45 FPS. Like these are maximum settings again at 1440p, right? It's like, this is playable. If, if the whole thing ran like this, I wouldn't have any complaints. Wait, that's, that's, that's a dude. I had the weirdest thought. I like, I want to kill that guy, and I was like, you know. Are these guys not trying to fight me? Am I just killing guys that I'm supposed to be cool with? Oh no, there's definitely guarding. Use your arm with your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Sure. Consume stamina. Stamina. Yep. And is there... Wait, how do you do two-handed mode now? No, rip! Aw! God damn it. <laughs> no chip damage, huh? Hold Y and press RB. Okay. Oh, God! Ah! Man, this roll dude, the input system is like exactly the old games. Why is my guy crouching? What the hell? Why is he crouching? Wait. How oh oh okay. L stick. <laughs> I I don't know if he's just crouching this game. Um He's just vibing. Avoid him and attack the dodge rule or backstep. Sure. What the? Oh, oh. What did I try to do that? I tried to do. How do you do the jumping attacks? Oh, you probably jump and attack. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, like, you know, the old lunging attacks in Dark Souls 1? There's a jump button now. <laughs> oh man, that changes things. Seven string syndicate? Yeah, dude, it's pretty early out here. But you know, it's chill. They see me jumping. They hate and What the Look at all this grass! Oh, you got a shield. Are you a friend? Nope. Each hand we equipped up to three armaments. Three armaments? Oh, switch left and right hand. Oh, okay. that's the same as before. Y plus LBRB wield two-handed weapons. All right. Um, two-handed attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boost effective strength by 50%. <laughs> Boy, this guy got outplayed. <laughs> oh, man. You, you, you say Dark Souls veteran. The funny thing about that is when I played Dark Souls 1, I think I maybe did that like once or twice in the entire game. 
That guy didn't even try to attack me. Hey, wait, can I take his stuff? Hey, man, let me get that shield, bro. Where's, where's your drop, bro? Does forward and R1 guard break? Forward and R1. This? Oh, that guy heard me. Did I jump on his face and then he, he like stutter stepped? This looks like it should be a bonfire or something. Oh, wow, you can take out the, f wow. I did not expect to be able to destroy a light source. Who made that noise? Hmm. There's a lot of stuff to break here, that's cool. Hey! I saw it coming at the last second, damn it. Oh my god! <laughs> that was tight. I got anti and hella. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attack to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Left trigger is a skill. Okay. That's a parry. That didn't work. Thanks for the advice, game. I should probably get my health back. Where'd half? I'm parry these 45 per seconds, yo. Go two handed? Ooh. Good idea. And then press it? Oh, we gotta find someone first in case it does something and use my FP. <clears throat> Crouching. Crouch to make it hard for enemies to discover you. Damn, so you can sneak through grass? What? Attack an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Whoa. Sneaky, sneaky. Bro. Okay, this is... Okay, yeah, I, I hate to keep harping on the, the performance issues, but the fact that um, the grass seems to be such a big deal and... That's one of the biggest indicators of performance. Like, when you change that setting, that kind of sucks. Well, I mean... Surprise! Through the bushes I go. <laughs> this guy won't see this coming. I like the sneaky. There's something real satisfying about this. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. What's over here? Uh, it's like a boat or something? I don't know. I will say this. The, the class I picked seems very strong for the early game. So the stats I have are obviously high, but you probably don't need it to be this high if you want to get other stats. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold right trigger to charge attack. Right trigger while jumping. Okay, I did that one already. I know you could charge this though. Oh. Okay. What does this do? Whoa, fancy swing. Oh, this guy charging up. Oh, yeah! Hey, dodge, bro. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, he's still alive? Damn, I started reading the chat. I didn't even think that uh, he had a chance of being alive after that fancy swing I did. Fully charged up. Two-hand attack and he survived. Stakes of Marika. 
Upon dying, you will be revived at the last side of grace that you visited. However, if there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be re revived there instead. What? So do you have to find these? Do you have to mark these or whatever? How did they know I found one of these? If I don't mark it or something, do I have to, do I have to smack it? No. I guess it just knows. Alright. I mean, that... I wish there was a button so I would know that it's not bugging, you know? Traverse the gold fog door. Oh no! Soldier of Godric! You can form a counterattack immediately after blocking enemy attack. Guard cards make it easy to break an enemy stance. What? That's new, right? Hey! Fool! Oh my god! Oh, so this is the way you choose. Man, give me that fool again. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I died, alright? Oh, wait. Upon that, you'll revive the last side of grace that you visit. You'll drop any runes in your possession at the side of your death. If you die again, before we claim those runes, they'll be lost forever. Alright. Compass tells you where your runes are. Oh, that's cool. Jump button. <laughs> oh, oh shh. We're going to die. Three. <laughs> Good morning, Mexican Sting. <clears throat> it's definitely not optimized while Mexican Sting. You're taking chip damage against them? Wait. Do I have, um... Was I two-handed? I don't think I was two-handed. This is me without this way. Yeah. <laughs> Sad days. Yeah, wait till I get this way, dude. It's okay, I'm just learning the fundamentals, all right? Fool! Oh, now you want to turn, huh? Now you want to turn! That's what I thought, homie! Enemy fell, that's right. Oh, did you fell? I'm sorry. Dick. He didn't even drop me nothing. That guy wasn't so hard. Godric. I can't believe I died to that guy. <laughs> hey, the water looks really nice, though, by the way. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, that's some good water. <laughs> Was there another section I didn't go through here? I gotta say... When I saw the trailers for this game, I saw this horse stuff, and the horse stuff kind of turned me off. But playing this right now, this this intro section, oh god, we uh oh we're, we're at this part again. I was like, that's why. But this intro section feels very Dark Soulsy. I got strength. I pillage strength. What the hell? What you can pillage stats? Uh well. So, basically, the run around brought us back here. So, going downstairs brought us all the way back upstairs. Oh, that was an emote. I thought it was, I thought it was a stat, like vitality or whatever, you know? Roll me past this frame drop section. Good lord. Oh, my God, dude. Now that we've felled Godric, let me get into here. Yeah, going downstairs to like the tutorial area, for sure. And then my flasks here? 
Add charge to it? Allocate flask charges? What does that mean? Oh, wow. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP replenishing flask and how many are for the FP for full replenishing. Interesting. So, oh, so you have, oh, that's interesting. So you can be like, oh, I don't want any HP, all, all blue stuff. We'll go with all, well, we, we might as well try it like this, right? <laughs> Allocate that. Add a chart, how do I do this? Use one golden seed to increase your number of flask uses? I should do this, yeah? We should do this. Not enough golden seeds. Okay, I won't do that. Use a sacred tier to increase the amount of HP. Yeah, yeah, do that. You don't have any. Okay, thanks, dude. Thanks thanks for having those options of freaking menu. Oh, what's this? Use a stone sword key? Yes. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't even have that. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, so if you get that stone sword key, you can open this thing. I like how the game asks you if you want to do all these things that you don't have. Hey, man, do you want to use that thing? Yeah, I do. You don't have it. Going up. Yeah, it was the other starting option, I remember. Hey, by the way, was this what they did for that that uh, test version they gave out earlier? Was it this section of the game, or was it a different section of the game? Alright, Big 30, let's go. We see Big 30. Open says me. Ta da! Limb grave. Wow, pretty, huh? Look at all the grass. <laughs> it's a lot of grass. Big ass golden tree. Like. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, is that a bonfire? I think that's a bonfire. Oh man. Frame rate, please. Lost grace discovered. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. The golden rays will guide you along your way. Thank you. Purdy 30. The network test was this section? Cool. So you guys, you guys, a lot of you guys have already seen this then. That's cool. Uh, sure. So if a lot of the game is open world like this, then I hella gotta lower my settings. Because this is solid 30. <laughs> Let's go from maximum to high. And we'll run it at 1080. Still finding optimal settings. I might just buy some of my PS5 as well if this house is playing on PC. Yeah, right? Oh, uh, wait, did I still have to go to the main menu? I'm pretty surprised. Whoa. If you had a 3090 Ti, maybe you could get 60. I know, right? One day. How are you able to play it? I have early access. But it's, you know, it's not that early. It's only, like, another six hours before the game releases. Valdi's like, I mean, you're using a 3080 and still having issues? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. Like, see, I changed the settings from maximum 1440, where I was getting 29 FPS, right? And now I'm at 1080 on high, and we're at 30 FPS. <laughs> oh, God. What CPU? I have a Ryzen 9 3900X, 12 core AMD. We got that one FPS though, boys. Look at that, we got, we got the 30 now, let's go. 
Maybe if I got 24 core CPU instead. What do you guys think? Maybe a 24 core? 12 core is not enough? What's this? In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find easy to summon other players at these locations. There's co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gathered at summoning pools. All right, all right. The co-op part seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. I think from software using supercomputers to test on when they optimize the game. Maybe they couldn't find any 30 series GPUs, you know? Like, they only could test it on, like, 1080s and stuff. That's probably what happened. Hey, what up, birds? Whoa, hey, what the hell? I, <laughs> I didn't expect them to actually fly away from me. That was cool. Wow, this, oh, those are, like, enemy birds. Wow, this is huge. We can go anywhere. What's that, uh... Oh, yeah. In Dark Souls 1, Firelink Shrine? That's what this area gives me vibes of. We're at Firelink Shrine. I feel like we're gonna be coming back here. And then deciding where to go afterwards. Look at the beach and stuff down there. That beach reminds me of those stupid ghosty parts of Dark Souls 1. What are you guys, enemies? Are you are you rabbits? Oh, the world has a bunch of random ass um, non-enemies now. Hey, wait, there's something there. Acquire materials. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. Can be used for item crafting. Arteria leaves. Damn, I wonder if having more grass on makes it harder to find those things. I wonder if it's easier. What up, birds? Hey, man, hang out with me. Damn. Alright, whatever. This is essentially Skyrim. So the old way of running and then tapping the button again to jump doesn't even exist. Damn, this is huge. Alright, well, where do we go? The fact that it's so open is like confusing to me. What the, is that a skull? I want my horse. Maybe I gotta go talk to this dude. That probably makes sense. You use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments. Uh, you can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks you explore. This button is map. With map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings. Also, freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, you can select any side of grace that you discovered and travel there instantaneously. Wow, so you can just fast travel to your um, your bonfires, huh? Some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. Oh, Cave of Knowledge. Stranded Graveyard. And this is where we are, the first step. Which has this big ass tree thing. Okay, cool. And I could make like a marker here or something if I wanted to. Oh. Wow, so you can put the types of markers too? Damn, that's pretty cool. Treasure! And then you can be like, death. Death waits for us here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I kind of like this. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Mm -hmm. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Of course you have. No shame in it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. What? Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, that was depressing. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna go kill that. Oh, wait, this person on a horse. Can't I pillage this stuff? Hell yeah, give me that. Give me that fruit. 
Wait, is gathering all this food uh, changing my equipment load? I'm pillaging these lands. <coughs> you can grab as much as you want. Hey, dude. Where do I get a, a horse like you? Wait, what was that? Is it this thing? Oh. Early. Oh god, you're an enemy! Oh Jesus! You ain't no friend of mine! Holy shit! <laughs> Okay, okay, we got we got 16 FPS. That's enough. Okay. Come on, fuck this guy. Run! <laughs> Run! Ah, he's got a horse, dude. 18 FPS escape. No. <laughs> What up, Luca? No, I wouldn't sleep all night, actually. Uh, three? Three. We're at three. Well, well, well. Let's just put a marker here. No, a marker of death. Oh, horse death. <laughs> horse death. <laughs> there. Right there, I found one. Shit. Uh... Wait, is this 4K max graphics? No, it's 1440 at high. And I turned it down because 1440 was uh, at maximum was giving me issues. So I put no, I put it at 1080. Right now it's 1080 high on a 3080. And we're getting a nice 31. You know what I can try? Hold on, let's try something else. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just OBS bugging. Right? Let's try this. This is, this is small, but give me a second. What if I do... Give me two seconds to fix all this. Let me turn you off. Let me turn you off. Let me turn you off. Let me move my face real fast down to here. Make him a little bigger, sure. And then let's do this. And the last thing we gotta change is this guy. Where is it? Where is the game capture? I don't even know. Okay. Why isn't it letting me make it bigger? It's not letting me re- Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why. Okay. Let's see if this is better. Maybe it's an OBS capture issue. Is that better? Nope. It's the same. <laughs> Let's go even lower. Let's try 240p. <laughs> If I go 240, I probably won't be able to run it. I mean, honestly, the way it's running right now, it, it, it doesn't even seem to matter what I change. You guys have already seen me change the settings here, right? Uh, you know, how does this game not have a death counter itself? Haven't they figured that out yet? That people want to count their deaths? Like, low and... What's the lowest setting we can go here? 800 by 600? <laughs> Maybe it's optimized. There probably is a death counter out in the world. Too many deaths to count. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's stressed out of my monitor, but in OBS it looks right. Hold on, let's see. Has to be optimization issues? Yeah. Faux show. Retro feel? Honestly, the funny thing is like, playing it off my OBS preview window seems to be just as effective. <laughs> and we're at 38 FPS. 
So, changing these settings. Well, this is where we were, right? This is where we got 31, 30. It's still 31 FPS. Okay, 35. 35. 33, 35. So, we went from... 31 to, like, 36 here, it looks like? By going down to... 800 by 600 resolution. <laughs> 800, 600 resolution. Lowest settings. 34 FPS. I mean, when you see it like this, it's kind of hard not to just run it at the max settings, you know? You're like, well, all right, I'll just run it at 1440p again. 1440p on low? We're at a uh, 33, 35. It's the same. It's the goddamn same. It's 39, 36. 34. I, I I don't know, bro. With the fucking 3080 WTF, you're doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong? What processor? Ryzen 9 3900X. I mean, I think that I'm probably going to get it on PS5 to see how that runs. I'm probably going to watch some PS5 streams later. Because there are sections of the game where it runs like, you know, 45, 50, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's good. And that's fine. It's playable, right? But then you, you come out to a section like this and you're like, well, this is the open world section. Wait, you got to re-pick up all this stuff every time? Is this the one case console is going to be better than PC? Uh, we'll see. You know, this... Look at the... Look, look at the trees. You guys see the trees right there? You see the trees setting right there? You see how they're going like that flickering shit? You guys can see that too, right? That's not just me. Yeah, 45 I think would be playable. Also, I have a G-Sync monitor, right? And G-Sync helps when your frame rate is below 60. It's still pretty bad, even on G-Sync. That's a shadow setting doing things to trees. I know that, but like, I just want to show you guys it, right? Because what that setting is, it's this here. This is what happens when you change your shadow setting uh, lower. So shadow quality... Let's see, if we go to maximum here, right? Now look, the trees are great. <laughs> so if you wanna have a higher frame rate, uh, you can have flickering trees instead. You know, like that's that's the trade-off. Um, and for me, it didn't change much. My frame rate is still 36 here. Go fuck up that dude on a horse? I can, but we go at 18 FPS to do it. Let's try. I don't know, man. It's, it's just bizarre. This horse guy seems too buff for me. But he but he seems pretty cool, too. Hey, where's my shield at? You want some, bro? What the? This guy... Ah! <laughs> Four! <laughs> I don't think we're ready for him yet. Oh my god. NVIDIA will most likely put out new drivers tomorrow. It would keep it high settings. Uh, we should make a bet on that. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That was the average FPS. And by the way, it wasn't just me, guys. Nanodeath is in the chat. And he also has been playing it today on a 3070 Ti. And he's having similar issues. Maybe this game only runs good on AMD GPUs. Is that five? Your mon your money's on the mod community fixing it first? Yeah, uh, I think, I think I'm probably gonna stop playing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I can play it like this. 
There, there's no setting I can run this at that makes it playable right now. Uh, dropping it to the lowest settings, dropping it to 800 by 600 resolution. You know, like, what else am I supposed to do here? Do you guys want me to hack around the files and see if there's an I and I file we can change stuff in? Because I'm, I'm like really confused about what to even change here. Because we've tried running all this at low. We tried running it at... Like, this is low at 1440p, it's the same thing. And it doesn't matter if I'm running at high with 1440 or low at 800 by 600. Do my techno magic, that would be nice, right? Um, early access hacking. Yeah, I mean, on, like, these are the settings. 20, 1440 high is what the game set me to, by the way. Um, when it did it, its auto detection of the settings. So, it's kind of a bummer. Okay. It's hitching a little bit. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I don't even think it crashed because it's here still. It just somehow all tabbed me out of the game. What? <laughs> I was hoping that somehow that fixed it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Valdezzi, was he running on PC? Uh, hold on. Let, let's try exiting the game. This was still for the first boot of the game. Maybe, maybe we should exit the game completely, completely. Run it right. Yeah, we're at 50. Beautiful. Yeah, like, this is totally playable like this, but how I had it a second ago at 30? Well, it's terrible. Can you testify at the horse guy? Let's take a look. Bring it on, horse boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, this game is gonna be sick though. <laughs> okay, when this shit runs right, it's gonna be sick. But there are definitely still issues. Like the the frame drops, they were still kind of massive. <laughs> Dude, the way he chucked me in the air though was tight. Uh, but you can see it's still, it's not as smooth as it was just a second ago, right? It's almost like it's leaking. And I bet you that cave we looked at might have also caused a memory leak. Honestly, I think that cave is going to crash it again. But let's see. This place looks way smooth. This whole section is way smoother now. You got like 60 FPS on the horse guy before to change this just a little better. It's way better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still massive frame drops when it happens, but I, I can tell you just from playing it, it's way better. This is like 50% uh, better than I was playing it at a second ago. Literally. Not 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 like a, a guess, like actually 50 FPS better. Not FPS, sorry. 50% better than it was before. Like you see, there's still frame drops like that, but down here, I'm at 60. I'm at 60 FPS down here now. This is a solid 60 in this spot. I was not hitting it anything like this. What the hell, dude? Is it just this section that causes the frame drops? Oh, shit. 30, 25. I think being here actually is bugging the game and causing it to get fucked up. I think, I think that's a leak. I'm exiting the game again to fix that. Yeah, 800 by 600 was not changing anything. Which is insane. Right? Uh, so that means there's probably some kind of crazy bugs in there.
Where were we? We're supposed to be here, right? Something like that. Somewhere similar to here. It's the same. So 1080p, 1440p, no difference for me. But I'll tell you this, this is um this is much better. And so I don't know if that ray tracing setting makes a difference anymore. Because I think it was just honestly restarting the game is what fixed it. Scratch the tutorial. It's interesting that the ray tracing setting is even in that file. I mean, I guess the real... Yeah, it's the same. It's the same whether we set it to uh, low in the ray tracing or high. So that, I would say, does not actually fix it. Oh my god, it's raining now too! <laughs> wow. Alright, alright. This is cool. So this is problem. This is part of the reason that people had such a hard um, time uh, benchmarking and testing this game. And yeah, the rain dropped your FPS by like two. <laughs> you lose a couple FPS for the rain. <laughs> um, but what I was saying, a lot, you know, people had a hard time uh, testing this game because there was dynamic weather and stuff. So. The FPS here is like a couple lower. Like, oh, wow, I guess that system is slower or whatever. It's actually not because the clouds are moving and all this other stuff. So you can't actually tell. What do we add in terms of deaths? We had five right now, I think. Let's go try to beat this horseman. Oh, my souls are there. Damn, I don't even think I went and got the souls last time. That horse animation looked pretty sick, though. It, the game is sick, right? Like, when it's working, the game is sick. Oh, you know what I should do? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can sneak up on this guy. 29 FPS. Let's go. 47. Don't look this way. You, you didn't see nothing. He knows! <laughs> he knows! Where's my souls? Where's my souls?! I didn't get to stop crouching, bro! Oh my god! Did I pick it up already? Oh shit! I did pick it up. All right, all right, all right. I just, I feel like, I, don't, I feel like the game is not playable in this state, dude. Like you can see there, like yeah, okay, you can walk around and you can see stuff at 50 FPS, 60 FPS, but then you start fighting and it's dropping to like you know 30 or 20 or something. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Like that seems like it's so nuts. Is that eight? No way. It was getting bad again? Yeah, for sure. And it's like, it's totally inconsistent. Now that says, I'm gonna wait till it's fixed personally unplayable at the moment. I think so too. Uh, like, I think this game is going to be sick, but in its current state, it's really hard to recommend it. Like really hard. Because, I mean, maybe, and I'm, I'm saying just for the PC version, right? Is it partly because you're streaming? No, this is not a streaming issue. This is the game issue. Like, there's, there's no reason for it to drop as crazy as it has. And also, like, the whole reason that I started getting 30 FPS in this section, which is currently at 50, right, is because I walked through the cave. Because I walked through the cave that leads you to this area, there, there was, like, a memory leak there when you're walking up the stairs. So, because of that, it dropped the frame rate of the game by, like, 45, 50%. You know? Everyone else looks like they're not having much issues. I mean, like, if you're running around like this, there's no much, there's not issues. Look, if I, if you just came to my stream and you saw me playing like this, you saw me killing the guys in the caves earlier, it's great, right? When I was walking through the caves and I was just slashing those little dudes, it wasn't a big deal. Like, a lot of the game is very playable like that. But when you have issues in a game like this, like, you don't want to die to a boss because there was a frame drop that suddenly went from, like, 40 to 30 or something, you know, or 50 to 30. You want to die because you lost. And you got outplayed. 
That's what I. That's my experience so far. And you know, like I said, if, if the game was like this the whole time, I'd be totally okay with it. Grab that skull. You can grab skulls. I saw the skull before. I just assumed it was like a a random object. Like, do you see? See it hitch right there? It went down to twenty nine a second ago, and I wasn't doing anything. I was just literally walking on the edge. It's because the game tried to load on like part of that view over there or something. You can't pick these up. These are these are just for show, bro. <laughs> there it goes. You smash them? Oh man! Now you tell me. Well, let's go get our souls back. I don't even know if there are any souls in that thing. Where's my soul counter? I'm at zero. Okay, let's go see if we can get the ones that we drop back. They're souls? Oh, interesting. All right, horse dude. Can you just chill for a second? Let me find out where my... I think I might get this on PS5 now to... If the PS5 is good, I'll probably play it on PS5. I would like to just get it on PC and just play it on PC, you know? Where are the souls at? Oh, the compass tells me where it's at. It's, it's this way somewhere? I don't remember running all that way over there. Oh, is that the right there in the grass? Are these my souls? Yes. It's zero, by the way. We definitely cannot kill this guy. I'm trying to hide from him, dude. He's trying to look at me. He's like, aren't you there? Uh, Crims, let me tell you. It's kind of a, it's kind of an issue right now. Clayton, yeah. So I'm not stressed about that part of it. Like, it's early access, right? So they, they obviously... Uh, gave me the key to play it early, but You can see it's early I got hit it <laughs> Let's go big boy How Dude my hops are crazy bro Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, Crims, it's it's it definitely seems like a blow up on PC. Like it, there is a chance that there is some issue with just my system that's causing this, but it doesn't seem that way. Elden Ring is from software's first foray to low-level APIs in PC and the game using DirectX 12. As we've seen other DirectX titles, DirectX 12 titles, there can be severe and distracting frame time stuttering issues. That's from Digital Foundry. See, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's no, it's, it's not a good look. Um, unfortunately, because like, it seems really good. The game, I mean, right? The, like so far, this game has felt very Dark Souls-like. It seems very cool. Um, I might go pick up the PS5 version today. It's assuming the PS5 